My name is Jerry Cavanaugh. We are in Los Angeles, California, on my front porch. My life started in Memphis. And when I was eight years old, I was looking at one of my father's botanical books, and my mother saw me going like this over the some of the, the drawings, but I didn't touch the book with the pencil. And she said, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm feeling the picture. And she said to my father, take her down to that public art school. And he did. And he said, I don't expect you to do anything with this but I do expect your life to be enriched. Later, I went to college and art school at the same time in Memphis. And then I did graduate work at Cranbrook, outside Detroit. There were only 125 students, so everybody worked together. Besides, at that time, Detroit was the hotbed of design because of the car companies. And I did work for GM there. And I did work for Victor Gruen for one year. Victor Gruen really invented the shopping center. And he had a very successful firm. Then I came here to California. There was a wealth of noted designers here working, from Ray and Charles Ames and Ricky Worman. L.A. had a sense of place that the East Coast didn't realize. They still thought we were next to China. I worked for a growing here, and that's where I met Frank Carey, and we became friends. My early clients were really in retail. I designed one of Joseph Magnin's first apartment stores, and I didn't want a big chandelier over the cosmetic department, and I got them to buy five pieces of Ruth Asawa's sculpture. I put a blue glass facade on the storefront, and they said, nobody's ever done a storefront in blue. And it was a roaring success. Frank Gehry opened an office, and he and Craig Walsh took me to the Swiss Cafe for lunch and said, why don't you join us? That's how we started. And at that time, cardboard was in the air. Frank was doing corrugated cardboard furniture. I love Frank, and now I'm grateful because he and Greg were the ones that encouraged me to go out on my own. I did all interiors, like I designed Neutrogena's office. I designed a lot of fabric, a lot of wallpaper. I designed lamp and furniture. I have a chair used in the Richard Nixon Library. I've designed dinnerware for CB2, and I designed jewelry for Acme that was sold around the world. I like them all. There's no favorites. I always put my all in whatever comes to me next. If you don't have good design and good craft, you don't have anything. Good design gains for everybody. It's a better product, it's better made, it has a history, it has a worth. It's wasting your money if you don't have good design. <laughs>